An article this week by a daring Chinese magazine suggests a well-developed chain exists in China to supply organs on the black market. But it's not just private citizens who are involved. Judicial courts and military hospitals are also a part of it. A nationwide system for China's black market for organs. A reporter for a Chinese financial magazine says an investigation last year turned up a supply chain that involved military hospitals, courts and judges. The detailed accounts were only published this week, but they add way to years of allegations that the Chinese regime is involved in systematic transplant abuse. Xu Qianchuan is a staff reporter for Taijing Magazine, a daring publication that often pushes the boundaries of reporting in the restrictive environment of mainland China. On Monday, Xu published this article about an organ broker he investigated after receiving a tip-off that the man had bought eight kidneys from a Chinese court. He goes by the name Zheng Wei. Xu calls him the top organ broker in the business. Between May and June of 2010, Xu says Zheng purchased organs from a judge in the city-level court in eastern Shandong province. Zheng then sold all the organs to 304 Hospital in Beijing. It's a military hospital of the People's Liberation Army. Taijing Magazine actually reported about some of these details back in September 2012. But in this week's article, Xu says no legal actions have been taken against the court in Shandong or the military hospital. Since 2006, human rights activists have alleged that the Chinese Communist Party extracts organs from prisoners of conscience, killing them. It's a process that allegedly involves a legal system and state-run hospitals. The regime has denied the allegations, but did acknowledge it relies heavily on executed prisoners as a source for organs. The Communist Party keeps its execution numbers secret, but researchers have pointed out that even high estimates do not support the more than 10,000 transplants carried out each year. That's because a much bigger pool of organs is needed to ensure tissues and blood type matches. In 2010, the Chinese regime announced a donation system it says will replace executed prisoners. But three years later, only 700 people have actually donated their organs. That's less than 250 per year while official transplant numbers remained at around 10,000 each year.